I hate to say it, but communications has to go off of Ira and, and Matt. <laughs> At least college algebra, which is pretty much this stuff, just on steroids. Um, absolute values. I have a student here who needs help with some absolute values. And um, I'll show you kind of my thoughts on absolute values. Because there is a problem, I think, in here that has to deal with absolute values. Okay? The absolute value, I think, when you guys were kids, um, looks like, like bars like that. I mean, it's the same anyway now. But when you were kids, you thought the absolute value of negative 3 is actually positive. Are we cool? Mm -hmm. Does this look vaguely familiar to you? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, good. Then this is what we're... This, yeah. Oh, so regular integers don't have the bar thing? No. Integers is just a oh, number. Okay. So I could, I could have, like, the Same. absolute value of negative 3.147862. Okay, so that's... And that's not an integer. It has nothing and it has, to do with... They have nothing to do with each other. Okay. Or maybe they do have nothing I mean, to do with each other. They're just not... No, they have nothing to do with each other. Because this is just positive 3.1476. Yeah. Got it? Okay. But the absolute value can be a tricky thing. Because back when you were kids, you always just said, oh, all the absolute value does is if it's positive, it keeps it positive. And if it's negative, it flips it to become positive. Right? Yeah. And I hate that definition. I mean, it's kind of true. But I hate that definition. Here's the way I think of the absolute value. The absolute value is, I'm just gonna write it, absolute value is the distance away from zero. So, if I have a number line like that, here's zero, and I uh, am standing three feet, and I'm saying negative three. But it's still three. So I have, I'm here, and someone else, and, and you are standing three feet to the right of me, or to the left. Let's make it to the left. Yeah. Because I always think left is negative. So you're standing three feet to the left of me, okay? Um, how many feet are you away from me? Three. You're positive three positive. feet away from me. Yeah. Even though technically you're three feet away from me. Uh -huh. You're three feet to the left of me, uh -huh. which is different than saying three this. Feet to the right. But really, if you were three feet to the right of me, how far are you away? Three. Three. Do you understand why yeah. the absolute value always gives you these negative, or in terms of negative things and yeah. positive? Because there's no negative distance. Right, right. I, you can't be negative three feet yeah. away from me. You could say, I'm three feet to the left of you, or three feet to the right of you. Yes, you could say that. But what I'm asking, what absolute value is saying is, what is the distance that this person is away from zero? Okay. Does that make sense? Here's the reason why I think this is important. It's because students have trouble with this. And this is an out this totally is an algebra one thing. Oh, do you see this before? That's when it's equal to or like on a number line, mm -hmm. okay. um, x is anything equal to or above me. Okay, so you got, you're saying over here? Yeah. You're half right. Okay. Now think about this. When is your distance? I mean, so here's the number line, and notice I drew people on my number line because you can imagine a scenario here. Okay. When is the distance bigger than three? Well, yes, when you're standing at three, four, five, six, seven, but also when you're standing.
right? So it's both. So it's both. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So the one way we write it is we say, okay, if I see this, then I can write it as x is bigger than or equal to 3, or x is smaller than or equal to negative 3. And, and students just learn this as a rule. Yeah, we were taught that. You were just taught that? Yeah. Like if it's I kinda have three, a they take it literally. And I kind of have a disgusting take on it. You want to hear it? <laughs> OK. You think, oh, gosh, here goes Mr. Belday again. <laughs> um, the absolute value greater than thing, I think of farting. <laughs> Say that I fart. And the radius of the stink of my fart is three feet. That means if you're in within three feet from me, you can smell that. But if you're away from three feet from me, then 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 you're fine. So that's kind of how I think about it. I think about it like, look, oh, people so that's, stand at a radius. That's of, the safe zone. Right. Those okay. are the safe zones. <laughs> okay. And here's the the thing. <laughs> So that's like no one's standing by you. That's why no one's standing by me, and everyone's standing anywhere around here, you're safe. But over here, when your fart is three feet to the right and left, because it kind of mm -hmm. just spreads out, yeah. that's the danger zone, as you would say. Does that make yeah. sense? All right. I've been in lots of those scenarios. <laughs> why do you have brothers? Uh, I've tried to. Oh, yeah. Like every time everyone just walks away. Like, okay, Boy cousins are kind of gross, huh? Um, all right, here's another one. What about this? I think of this as, I don't know, maybe in your scenario, I would call it the Justin Bieber. Okay? Everyone wants to be three feet next to Justin Bieber. There we go. We got Justin Bieber here. <laughs> okay. And all. All the girls in the club want to be over here or over oh, here, but they want to be in this zone right here. That's the happening zone. Okay. <laughs> so the way you would express that mathematically is you say, okay, well, that's um, negative 3 is, or x is, less than or equal x is bigger than negative 3, but it's less than positive 3. Oh, okay. Good yeah. sandwich in between here. Yeah, I learned that. Whereas this one is the or statement. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, so when you see that, it means both. And then this means, one means right. anything. Here's within. the part. Here's the Justin Bieber. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got I don't it. know. I have the weird stories. But it works. But it does work. And is was this what was freaking you out? Um, no, I understand. That. So here, I got a question. I guess just like Let's when it's this. with when it's in equations, I wouldn't know. It's yeah, I guess. Than or equal to. Yeah. What's the answers? What are the integer solutions to this? See how I mix it all in there? <laughs> um. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. This kind of goes back. Whatever. You know how to do this, right? Yeah. What is that? Is that the fart scenario or the Justin Bieber? It's the fart. Right. Because you're saying you want to stand four feet away from this. Yeah. Right. Now, when you replace, when you when you place something but you put it inside of the function, like this. This is that H thing that we did when we transformed things. This is moving it to the right and left. Okay. And in this particular case, this plus 7 moves it to the right or the left. Which one? Right. It left. moves it to the left. left. Right. When moving things to the right and left, it kind of does the opposite of what you, your intuition says. Okay. It moves it to the left. So you're thinking to yourself, well, that person isn't standing at 0. He's standing at negative 7. Does that make sense? Yeah. And we got the fart scenario. So how far does everyone want to stand away from this person? Four. So I go negative seven, so it goes one, two, three, four. So you can stand over here okay. and be safe. But you can also stand 
over so here. So it just changes it from zero to yeah. something else. Okay. And then so if I ask you, what are the integer solutions, you would tell me negative 3, negative 2, negative 1. Negative seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, sorry, this is zero. Um, zero, one, two, whatever. Or you would say, you could say either stand at negative three feet, negative two feet, negative one feet, or you could say stand at negative, what is this? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah. And negative twelve. I got a question. Can you stand at negative three and a half feet? Yes, of course yes. you can. You can stand right here. There we go. Or I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oops. At negative two and a half feet. Negative three and a half feet is in the danger zone right here. But negative two and a half feet. Can you stand at negative two and a half feet? Yeah. Sure. But here's how I mixed it all up on you. I said, what are the integer solutions? Three, two. Three, two, one, not two and a half. Yeah. Okay. Right. Right. So absolute value doesn't really have anything to do with integer solutions. But I think I realized how they could have thrown in the word integer into that and then make your brain think that, that there was a connection somehow. But if I told you what are the solutions, you would tell me, you would tell me, oh, okay, the solutions are either x is smaller than or equal to negative 11, or x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Mm -hmm. But if I asked you what are the integer solutions, then you would say, negative 12 comma negative 11 comma dot 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 or negative 3 comma negative 2 comma negative 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma dot 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 right mm -hmm. these are integer solutions don't include the numbers in between here yeah does that make sense so i could see how you could have gotten that mixed up and I like this Justin Bieber uh, <laughs> farting um, scenario. Even though I don't like Justin Bieber, I just figured that, that that's like a, a cool thing for, for you kids. I think when I taught this like five years ago, I was using Taylor Lautner. And then before that, I was using Leonardo DiCaprio. The, the, the name changes based off of who's popular. I think it's always going to be Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah? You kids like Leonardo DiCaprio? Yeah. Oh, okay. I finally got his Oscar. Oh, yeah. Yeah.